Hello YouTube, just a quick little presentation for my 13 year old kid on how he feels the school system is in this day and age. Ready? Yep. Go ahead. Alright, hello everybody. My name is Blake Harrison, aka Blizz Love Snow. I don't know if you heard of me. But today I'm going to show you my presentation of what I think school is these days. Now we all got our own little problems. By the way, just a disclaimer, this is all opinion, so... Okay, the school system. I don't wonder what school would be like if it was only summer vacation. Well, that sounds like a, live I, a life I want to live. But the fact is that we all got to go to school. It sucks, but whatever. I just wish school wasn't all year round. Like maybe five months long, because on the first day of school, you're motivated to do your best. As the hours turn to days, weeks, then turn to months, uh, months, uh, kids like you get exhausted as the year goes on. Soon those beautiful fours and threes start to turn to twos and 1.5s. <sighs> kids avoid that by missing sleep to study, and sleep is the most important when it comes to school. Trust me, every time I come to math, I'm always exhausted. People say, try your best, and that's all that matters. And remember that saying as a kid? Well, I can backfire sometimes. Grades. Now, grades are okay, but sometimes they can put a child's minds on thorns. When kids look at their grades, they hope for the best. A is for is on that piece of paper. But when a kid looks at bad grades and their parents' expectations, they want the best for their children, obviously. Kids want to say, deal with the grades they have or ask for help if the grade is a little low. That's okay. But some kids will put their health aside and, and put their grades on, holy crap, I need to get this, I need to do this now mode. This can be very stressful for a mind that's still developing. My opinion on grades is not good. Let's say, for example, grades are the like candy or money. If you do this right, or you do what you're told, you get a four or a piece of candy. But if you don't do what you're told, then you get a zero or no piece of candy. It's a dangerous system to be messing with. I mean, your future depends on that single letter slash number. See what I mean? Weekends. I love a day off. But why does it have to be so short? Now, weekends are usually two days, but why can't it be three? Can we just take off Wednesdays? I mean, it's not like we do anything special on Wednesdays anyway. Anyway. <clears throat> this is that way we have enough time to recharge. If you ever came to school tired, well, it's probably because you didn't have time to chill. And like I said, you need time to recharge. I mean, everyone needs a little alone time to chill and relax, right? Too violent. There was this one time when I submitted some aura in the yearbook. Well, when I went to look at it, they covered it up. Here's the work. Here's the artwork that I submitted. Yeah, take a good look at it. Pretty cool, huh? Well, took me three hours to make, so you can understand why I why I didn't like that they covered it up. I mean, come on, the world is very violent, so how the heck is a child going to deal with real life problems? That's right, they wouldn't be able to, they won't go outside, they won't try new things, they wouldn't even read a book. They would be afraid of everything because, because they were under safety their, their whole lives. Ew, blood, I know, it looks gross, the thing is, it's inside of you, deal with it. I mean, sure, there are a lot of bad things happening right now, but come on. Can't even look at a little bit of blood. I swear, the school is way too soft right now. And I hate to be the crazy one right now, but I'm afraid it's true. Wise person once told me, you'll never know until you try it. Lunch. The school lunch is okay, but I feel like the school food has way too much fat in them. Like the pizza, for example, a normal slice of pizza has about 7 grams of saturated fat, but at least that still fills you up, you know? Pizza is okay, but there's too much cheese and too much sauce. It just, just doesn't fill you up. I swear, I have to take a second slice to feel okay-ish. 
Not starving. Let's put it that way. The environment. You know what? You have to go to school, obviously. So you have to know what it feels like to be in one or outside. There's so many trees and so much nature. I mean, I get it. It looks nice. But it's a school, not a nature park. Now, the inside is always crowded with children and then weak teachers. Speaking of which. Teachers. The teachers. Now, I've already talked about teachers a little bit, but this is going to be all that I think about the teachers in school. First of all, they all get, they get all sensitive when you touch something. Like my gym teacher, Miss Martin, when I would touch the wall or anything without her letting me, she gets all worried and says, Blake, that is not yours to touch. Blake, it's just a wall. Also, no one asked you. Just overall, the teachers in the way don't make any sense, period. Or in any school. The end. Don't go to do it. Trust me, it's not worth wasting your future here. Good job, son. Thank you very much for listening to my rant on school. Please, have a nice day. Now, just to be clear, my kid wrote that on his own. That was not part of any kind of school project. That wasn't part of any kind of assignment. He surprised me with it and just said, Dad, check this out. I wrote this. And... I was blown away, and I would really appreciate, as I'm sure he would appreciate as well, share this around because I think you get the point of what he's saying, and it would be kind of nice if teachers would hear this too, you know, how kids actually feel about school and the way school's being dealt with and how they're kind of cramming agendas down the kids' throat that don't belong there. So thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. You know what to do. Laters. Bye.